we've just come from our room and we're now on the floor what floor are we on sorry they've already gone i can't remember what floor we're on but we've come through the walkway to go through to the alton towers hotel so we have to come this way on this walkway so hot oh my gosh you have to come outside into the water park this is really strange but this is the walkway to the Alton Towers Hotel. So we're kind of in one of those rooms, but not because not, we're facing like something else. So there's an outdoor bit there as well. I'm just being careful at the minute of what um, I'm filming. Yeah, so the slide chucked you out outside there by the look of it. So we keep walking all the way along this path. I do think that is to get the rubber ring, you know. Oh no, it's the very the lazy river. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Where you get the rubber rings from there. And then now we've come out of the water park. Ooh, that was a bit cooler there now. And now we're actually into the Alton Towers Hotel. No, this is, yeah. Alton Towers Hotel. So we've Alton Towers Resort Conference Centre. That just says exit to car parks. Yeah. We're on a mystery tour at the minute. I like this um, wallpaper. It's really nice, isn't it? It's like got all different places on it. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. This is like when you've been in Disney and you've been out at the parks all day and you go into air conditioning yeah. and it's like lovely and cool and chilled and this nice soft carpet on your feet and smells nice. <laughs> We don't have a clue where we're going, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We were trying to come out so that we didn't get wet. Oh. Oh, Is that a water slide? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's that mega blaster, maybe. So we've ended up coming right out. We should have probably gone the way of the conference centre. Yeah. Oh, no, we really are outside. We don't normally have to come outside. We've just obviously gone the wrong way. Yeah. Normally, you can just come straight across without going outside. That's the whole idea of the walkway. But we obviously... Oh, so that car park doesn't look busy. After that, the oh, so the Alton Towers Hotel has its own car park, whereas we're the Splash Landing. So we seem to share with... Um, so I think the Alton Towers Hotel is where they have like the themed rooms as well. Yeah. Um, then again, saying that, a splash landing they did have some. They had Ice Age, didn't they, I think? Yeah. Um, so this is the entrance. They've got a funky looking, what would you call that, a rocket car? Yeah. I think it is meant to be a bit like an explorer's hotel, yeah, isn't it? It feels burning. Like um, tomorrow landing doesn't want that. What's it meant to be like? It feels burning. Oh, so here we go. This is the entrance. Very, very This nice. is very nice. A lot nicer than the entrance of Splash Landings, I have to say. Oh wow, that's so cool. Like a Moroccan kind of theme. That is lovely. Oh, Matilda's gone straight to the gift shop. As you can imagine, so you come in and there is a gift shop that way. Um, Check-in and reception area is there. And then here, this looks lovely. Oh, this is a completely different hotel. It's a lot more chilled out. That's like an actual boat down there. And it's like a full on hot air balloon up there. This is absolutely beautiful. This was a lot more expensive though. This hence why we're not staying here. Um, so they have a welcome lounge there. They also have what a Costa Coffee coffee portal. Um, which isn't open at the moment. Have you seen this? 
I do think though it's possibly that it is quieter because a lot of people in our hotel are actually just for the water park. Um, like a lot of people when I was going to the guest services then, because our remote control in our room doesn't actually have batteries in. Um, and when I was asking at guest services, lots of people were coming up and coming up and she kept saying to them, go down these stairs and round this way, go down these stairs and round this way for water park check-in. So I do think a lot of it is because people are going to the water park. Um, whereas obviously we're not doing that. Oh, there's the CBBs one over there. So we don't think we can actually go in the CBB's hotel because we think that actually is specifically reserved for CBB's land guests. Yeah, we're not allowed, wasn't allowed to book the restaurant over there because that's specifically reserved for um, guests of CBB's land. CBB's land? Yeah, I've got such a summer vlog, so this is a lot nicer, isn't it? Like, I feel like when you come in, it's a lot quieter. It's a lot more, not like a lot more formal because it is still quite friendly. So this looks like they're, that must be like one of their restaurants. Yeah, we tried, but we can't get a reservation. It's a secret garden restaurant. Um, but there's a little look for you at the menu. So they've got classic, you know, sausage and mash, fish and chips, salmon, duck. The prices aren't too bad either. So this is it here. It looks beautiful. The secret garden restaurant. It's so pretty. And here, they actually have a full-on bar area here as well. This is called the Dragon's Bar. So that's lovely. Oh, you're in the bottom of the ship? Now on the bottom, we can see this much better. Wow, that is lovely. Oh, has not been designed as play equipment. It is therefore not suitable to climb on. That's lovely down here. There's like all this space here that you can just have a sit down, have a drink, have a chill. But it's lovely at like night time as well when you just want to come for a little rest. Really beautiful there. So we were just on that um, middly level there before. Oh, sorry, I just have to take a photo then because I thought that was a really good opportunity. I'm going to head out here and just see what I can say. Oh, this is Captain's Bar. Ah, but that's not open, so that must be something else behind there as well. They must have a captain's bar, the speakers as well. So I'm assuming that maybe they have like live music or something at some point. I definitely would say it's more of an adulty orientated hotel. Not that it's not child friendly, but I just think it's definitely more adulty. And um, this is lovely. I can imagine if the weather's really nice. Oh, it looks like you can scan the QR code and order from your table here. That's possibly like a little pop-up bar tent at some point. Oh, the duck's quacking at me. But this is really pretty here. Ah, it looks like the spa's over there as well. And then that's definitely the CBB's Land Hotel there. But um, like we said before, I don't think you can actually get into it. I don't even know where the entrance to it is. Um, I haven't actually seen the entrance. This is all that secret garden restaurant from the outside. So we just came out of those double doors over there. So this is all the secret garden restaurant. So it's very big. Um, like I said, unfortunately, we did try because it looked really nice, but we unfortunately we couldn't get a reservation for it. Um, but it does look lovely. It actually smells lovely as well. Like the smells coming out of it. I'm bobbing over here because I think I've just seen like a children's play area. Um, so I'm just trying to have a little nosy to see if I am right. I mean, it's a very nice, it's not raining now, the rain has gone off, but everything's still a little bit wet, so um, Matilda still wouldn't be able to play on it, but I just wanted to see. Oh, there is, it's only tiny, but this is quite nice. So there's like a little trail here that you can cross. There's a seesaw here, all like this nice soft floor as well. And there's like a little swing, and it looks like there's some steps down there, which I'm assuming goes into the CBBs hotel because it looks like you can get access that way and then there's some little ducks here there's a little park there's a little park area they can't hear me i'm shouting to them like four times but they're just not listening at me they're on the other side of the lake now so i'm just gonna have a walk around just to see if i can see anything in the cbbs for you um i don't think i'm gonna be able to but I thought it'd be nice to have a little meander, as we say. 
I can spot lots of these little CBBs. Um, I don't actually know what they're called. I always think they look like chicken nuggets. But to be honest, I don't actually know what they're called. Oh, it looks really funky inside there though. I can just see inside a little bit. Um, maybe that's one of the food places that we couldn't go to. But it's lovely round here. Right, we'll head round and we'll catch back up in a moment. Aunt and Matilda came looking for me. And did you go on the park, Matilda? It's really small. It is small, isn't it? What, yeah. what is that? Oh, I don't know what that bird is actually. Dad, come here. It's a ducky bird, Aunt says. No, so don't touch it. Come on. It's pretty, isn't it? So it, um, it is really nice round here. I'll go, I'm sorry, I couldn't get to the CBB's hotel. I went all the way around and all I could get into was the um, spa. <laughs> It does feel very a lot posher than the um, splash landings. Yeah, I think the splash landings is literally just because it has the. I'd imagine the rooms um, are a bit nicer as well. It has the water parking, doesn't it? Yeah, I did say like I would say it's more adult friendly, but not that it isn't child friendly. But it just seems more adult orientated, doesn't it? Yeah. So the CBB's one, there's no door handles like this. This is where I couldn't get inside anything. Everywhere's just got the flat doors so you can't get in. Um, so we're just back in. That was a nice walk that, wasn't it though? It's lovely out there, nice little walk around. So I think we're gonna head back up now and we'll see where our feet came. We found the way that we should have gone on the way here. And um, so these are kind of different. Um, things now here. These are like different rooms. Um, facility room. Or like a laundry room or something. So we're going to follow the signs. This is what we're looking for. So we're looking for Alton Towers Water Park and Splash Landings. Um, so this is the way that we should have gone before but we ended up going the wrong way. So we're hoping that now we're in the right way. Ah, so we should have just come through. Oh, there's a different door that we could have come through. Yeah. So how is this? Oh. Oh, we didn't come this way at all. Oh, we did come a little bit this way. This is the conference. Yeah, we went straight on, didn't we, I think? Yeah. Whereas we should have come round here towards the conference centre. Oh, yeah, we definitely didn't come through here. Ah, right, so you do have to go past the conference centre then. I didn't realise that. Also, when I was looking outside in the Alton Towers Hotel there, yeah, the carpet's that's strange, isn't it? Um, we'll also look at the splash landings at the front and see if there's anything that says there, but it said things about like um, Cafe Galactica, which must be near the Galactica ride, which said hotel guests only. And it said open till ride closes. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. And then there was also things about, hey, so there we go. Now we're back into the water park and splash landings. Now we're back into the heat. Okay, I'm just going to turn my camera off 